Hey guys, welcome back to LD Home. And if you're new, welcome. Today we have um, some cleaning and some organization to do. We are going to jump right on in and start with the floors. So let me tell you what we're doing, why we're doing it, and then we'll start. We doing are going to be cleaning this section right here because sneak peek stay tuned for that video this piece of furniture has to go back here so i just want to get the floors nice and clean like underneath it um our dog has potted here a few times so you know real life full transparency it's happened um so i just want to make sure this area is like nice and clean so i'm going to get out like my spot treatment spray this whole area and then just shampoo um, this whole area so that i can push that piece of furniture back and then we can do some more cleaning and some more organizing I can't tell you how many times I have cleaned this particular spot and she hasn't gone here in like a really long time, but for some reason, like maybe it's just my imagination, but I feel like I just can't get the carpet fully clean. And I mean, I, I shampoo this area of the carpet often, like this entire room right here often. Cause when I walk in, I'm like, does it, does it smell funky? I don't know. I don't know if it's coming out of the AC filter that's over there. I don't know, but let me know if you have any tips on getting like a smell out of a room, whether it's in the carpet, maybe it's something I need to do with the window AC unit. I don't know. Let me know if you have any tips. But for now, until you comment down below and give me all of your amazing tips so I can try them, I'm going to be using our newer steam cleaner. Um, if you guys remember from a previous video, I said that our old one had pooped out pretty quickly. So I went ahead and bought this one. It doesn't give me as much like time. Um, it fills up pretty quickly and the like water tank empties real quickly, like way more than the other one. But I do found that find the cleaning power a lot better and it's not as heavy, which is good for me because I do take it to different rooms when I want to freshen up the carpet and I can carry it a lot easier. And it's also a lot smaller, which seems like a problem, but it's so much easier to store. I will have this link down below if you are interested in a steam cleaner. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away Not We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word Before I push the cabinet back that you're going to have to subscribe to see um, I did have some scuff marks on the wall that I wanted to see if I could get off um, So I just used a magic eraser It's actually the off-brand one from Dollar Tree $1.25 for a two-pack and it works just as well as the name brand Mr. Clean one or Magic Eraser one or what whatever. I think it's Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, but it works just as good and you get two of them instead of just one because Dollar Tree also just sells just the one, but why not get two for the price of one? So I decided to go ahead and get that tackled before I pushed the cabinet back um, and decorated it and put everything basically on the wall where I wouldn't be able to reach. <laughs> So next on our list is just a little bit of kitchen organization. I have been wanting one of these for a really long time, and I found this for only $12.99 at Home Goods, I believe. Um, so this is our current situation. Please ignore all the, the bags, um, which this has worked really well. This is from Target. If they still sell it, I will have it linked down below. I bought this the first time, and it was like $16, $17, $17 and I just keep refilling it. But I would like it to look a little bit nicer. So um, we are going to see if we can fit that in here and still have all of our other stuff on the side. Um, and then just take all of the bags from here and put them in there. 
I love the look of this so much better than the system that we have right now. Granted, I'm the only one really looking at it, but it's much more like visually appealing to me. I will say it was a little bit hard to get the bags in there, but I found that with this Target variety pack also. But the wooden one was a little bit tougher, um, but I just kind of shoved them in there. And to be honest, I kind of had them shoved in this Target one too. So maybe that's part of my problem is I just kind of shoved them in there. And it fit perfectly in this drawer. I am thinking about kind of redoing these drawers a little bit, just in the sense that this like mat that I have down there that's supposed to be like a drawer saver is always sliding around and getting crumpled up. And I just think that I hate it. So I think I'm just going to x nay that one day altogether. But here is how it turned out, and I know it's pretty much the same thing that was there, but I like it. Also, when I was at Home Goods, I picked up two of these. They are fridge and freezer bins, and what I liked about them is they are stackable, so they fit. It's hard with one hand. Go get in there. They fit, like, inside of each other. They were $7.99 a piece, and in a recent video, I was talking about the organization in the fridge and having compartments for like each person um so i'm gonna try and see if this works if not i can always use it somewhere else um not in the fridge or the freezer um but i'm gonna go ahead and try that let me know in the comments if you struggle with fridge organization as well this is one of the trickiest spots i feel like in my home to organize i love organizing and people will even say like oh my gosh will you come to my house and organize or you are so organized oh my goodness you know where everything is I love, love an organized space. And I love the actual process of organizing and getting a space in order. But I struggle with my fridge so badly. I don't know if we just have too much stuff. I don't know if I'm not doing it right. I have no idea. But let me know if you also struggle with the organization of your fridge. That I know I'm not alone and anyone watching this also knows that they are not alone. Morning, you never know when it is so I wasn't really able to stack them in our fridge because of the shelf. I did have to move that shelf down. I do think it looks a lot better with the clear bins, but I'm wondering if it's going to work really well. Um, so right now I have, this is like my stuff. Um, I never eat these. I need to. And then my almond milk because I don't drink regular milk. <laughs> um, and then this is all of like my husband's. I mean, this is obviously milk for the household, but, um, this is supposed to be like his thing, but I put some like things for dinner in this random twisted tea I had in the bottom. Um, so I'm curious to see how it'll work when I actually meal prep. So I haven't meal prepped yet this week because I'm on summer break and I need to get back into meal prepping to make sure that I'm staying good during summer. But I know the light turned out. Hold on. <laughs> I've had the fridge open for a hot minute. Um, I am curious to see like what it'll be like because I like have one container for my meal prep stuff. Um, and then like those are my juices down there. So I don't know if I'll have to just do one almond milk at a time. Um, so maybe like juices and then one almond milk, but then I don't know where I'm going to put my lunchbox. It doesn't matter right now because it's summer break, but when I go back to work, I might have to kind of reconfigure this, but I'm going to move, um, this down. I need to drink this almond milk. It expires June 5th. That's literally like in a few days, not when you're watching this, when I'm doing this. So I'm going to put that one down there. Um, and then hopefully that will leave room for my stacked meal prep. Um, I'll have to drink some of this tonight and then just chuck the rest probably. Um, but I can stack my meal prep higher up at least. I don't know. It's, it kind of is what it is. Um, we will, we will see. I, I could stack them on top of each other. I do wish they were drawers. So maybe I'll look into some drawers or something, but for now we're going to go with that's the way it looks. And then that will be my son's drawer. That one right there um, is my son's drawer for lunches. Like he has a Lunchable in there right now, but he is um, also on summer break, but he works over the summer. So realistically, <laughs> please, 
please don't look at the state of the freezer. Um, it's just kind of is what it is, really. Uh, these are like all of his. He requested these like spaghetti and meatball things because he has a fridge at his job, but not at school. A fridge, yes, a fridge with the freezer and a microwave. So that's what he's taking right now. So he won't need that drawer again until like August. So uh, that's just, that's what it's going to be for now. So um, not a like terrible purchase or anything. I just don't know how it's going to work for us during the school year. But for right now, it does look a lot better. So we're going to go with that. So we are still in the kitchen. <laughs> um, I want to try something on the bottom of the drawer. By the way, this drawer is holding up swimmingly. We fixed that in a previous video. Link down below if you're interested. Um, but I have some wallpaper left over from the mudroom makeover that will be linked as well. That I think I just want to put in some of these drawers where I tend to. Um, maybe here. I don't know. Like I tend to put stuff in there not dry, if I'm being honest. I kind of just like chuck it in there. Um, I, I think this drawer maybe, maybe those it might look a little bit better. It's really pretty I don't know where else I can use this so let me know your thoughts before I do this because I wasn't gonna do this like right now and now I'm like second guessing myself let me know where else I can use this wallpaper that's like not on a wall I know that sounds really silly but I don't want to like I don't have enough to wallpaper a whole other wall um but also like that's like an accent wall in there but let me know where I can use this leftover in like a a different way it's like a backdrop or something I don't know let me know your thoughts I'm um, down in the comments below. Welcome to my closet. Yes, I know. The bar is struggling. <laughs> I just have, I have too many clothes. So here's what we're going to be doing. Um, a lot of these are like work pants. Well, it's summertime, so I'm not wearing these right now. And they're like hanging over all of this. They're intruding in my space. So I bought some hangers so that I could put more than one pair on a hanger at a time. And I might try that with some of my dresses too, like my fancier ones that I don't usually wear just to get some more space over here. Um, for one, it won't intrude in this area as much, but for two, I'm hoping it'll put less stress on the bar if things aren't so far this way. So let me show you what I got. Um, I picked up these from Target. They are on sale right now as I'm filming this. I um, don't know how long they'll be on sale, but it's a two pack and they're velvet and it's like a four bar situation. So I am going to put the pants on one and I, I, since it's a two pack, I got two of them. So I have four of them. So this should be good for pants and then I should be able to do some dresses on the other one. So these hangers worked out pretty well for me. I will say I just need to declutter. I actually declutter my closet all the time, but then I have the bad habit of buying new items. I am a person that typically wears all black. Uh, black gray some olive green here and there maybe there's um, one shirt I have that I think is tan that you guys see me in that's like a tie-dye situation but if you really like <laughs> look back at my videos I don't wear a lot of color <laughs> so I've been trying to add some more like color into my wardrobe just to kind of like spice things up freshen it up a little bit so I've been buying some new pieces and I definitely need to just kind of declutter things that I'm actually like not going to wear. Like you see jean jackets and then the rest of that is black. Like there is not no color in this closet. <laughs> um, but I, I've been trying, which means I've been buying things and my closet is struggling. I definitely need to get this under control. Um, I have always loved clothes. And I think my main issue right now is I have gained um, quite a significant amount of weight for me anyway. Um, I've gained about... I, I think I ended up gaining a little over like 20 pounds, lost a few pounds of it and gave that back. So I am like 20 to 25 pounds overweight right now. Um, I had a miscarriage this year and that has just done a complete emotional like terror on me. Um, I just cannot seem to get myself together. Um, and I know I'm giving myself grace and all of that, but I am buying things because I don't like the things that I already have. Um, and I had actually lost a lot of weight a long time ago. I used to be over 300 pounds and I had lost a lot of that and was like at about 200, um, under that for my wedding, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> um, and I, I just feel myself like creeping back up and I don't want to get to that place, but I'm finding it really hard to get myself together. So I am buying items. That's why I'm telling this whole story. <laughs> I'm buying items because I don't like the things that I have in my closet and I just think I'm overbuying and I just think I need to get rid of some things, if we're being honest. 
But having gone through that whole long-winded story, the hangers did work out really well. And if your closet is not as crazy packed as mine, um, I definitely think it would be a good addition if you can find them on sale. The other half of the room looks like this. That little black basket, you probably can't even see it, was housing my sandals. It was just not big enough. I have a giant pile to go to Goodwill. I just have stuff strewn all about this room. And it is time for me to put all that Goodwill, my goodness, Goodwill stuff in some bags so I can put it in my car. And for me to bust out this new basket that I got from Amazon that is way bigger so that I can put all of my sandals in there and I don't have them all over the floor anymore. Feel the air get thinner. I'm standing in a blurry dream. No one else can see us. So let us dance inside the side of it. I do love the size of this basket. I did this, give this on sale, so I will have it linked down below if you are interested, but it definitely held all of my sandals perfectly fine, and I can use it for other things in the future um, when I'm not using it for my sandals, and you know, it's like winter time or something, but I will have it linked down below. Um, I do think it is a really good purchase. Like I said, I got it on sale um, from Amazon. Our next and final order of business in this video is to see if we can clean this carpet. Now it might not look too bad, but there is definitely like a demarcation line. Um, since we switched the living room around, I will have that video linked down below when we did our living room refresh and moved the furniture all around. But there is definitely a line right down the middle where the left side is clean <laughs> because that's where the sofa used to be and no one was walking there. And the right side is atrocious because everyone was walking right there so i'm trying to kind of get rid of that very like obvious line now in the video like i said i don't know that it looks super obvious before i like got it wet but um it's definitely obvious in person and it's definitely been driving me nuts and it did work i do need to go over it a few more times maybe in like a different video or off camera but i spent quite a while trying to clean this spot but it is hard to tell when something is wet if it you know, has turned really clean or not when you're doing the carpets. But we definitely have a few track marks in our house like this where there are definitely high traffic areas and you can tell. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart. sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different I had forgotten about this last clip, so this is the final thing we're doing. Um, it seems like a random cleaning moment, but we were having people over, and this had just got so gross. Our sliding glass door always gets so gross right here. So I'm using um, one of those crevice tools that I got from Amazon. They will be linked down below. These have come in really handy with some of my random cleaning. I did try using this dryer thing, and for some reason it was not working. I think I just need to clean out my Dyson, like rinse out the filter and everything, because when I used it for the dryer, it worked. Now my Dyson's like, I can't breathe. No, you can't do that. Um, but I just used the crevice tool, kind of got all of that nastiness out of there, and then just used a washcloth with um, warm water and soap on it and just kind of cleaned that area up a bit. Like I said, it seems like a random little thing to clean, but um, we, we people were going to be walking in and out of this door, and we were serving food in the kitchen um, for everybody, and I didn't want anyone to look down and be like, ew, that's disgusting. That's going to wrap up this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
Make sure you check out the video and the playlist on the screen. And as always, smash that subscribe button so you can become part of our YouTube family. We have lots of DIY things coming up, home projects, and I promise, I promise, I am going to be cleaning something sometime soon. Don't lose hope on me. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.